focus please f f focus on me ooh focus on me ooh f f focus on me hi hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i had the well i think it's a good idea um i had the idea to kind of readdress one of the videos i've done in the past which was playing i did some tns quizzes and they were all like fan made ones some of them were better than others because i remember one of them was just like it had like one question or something or did it just have no questions i don't know um but it was quite an entertaining video i think um so i just thought why not scour the rep scour scour the web and have a look what other TNS games and quizzes we have. So today I thought that I'd go through the CBBC games and quizzes for the next step and then maybe if you guys enjoy this one I can do a fan made quizzes and games and just literally go on the whole internet and see what people have made. Um, and this video isn't like um, endorsed by CBBC or anything. I know I've done a video with them in the past but this one is just literally because I thought I'd have fun doing it really um and i want to see what kind of content they have because i've played take it to the streets and i played what was the first one called take it to the top this one is called are you ready for the next step so very vague but let's see what this is all about quick you're running late to meet a friend why are you late you wait what how is this a quiz on my tns knowledge if the first question is not about the next okay all right i'm running late why am i late i probably took a bit longer than usual to get ready how does this make you feel <laughs> yeah what mastery excellent spotting technique and execution yes i remember the first time i saw the off season i was like yes noah you have a party coming up what are you most looking forward to i always used to really look forward to some inevitable drama that would start um getting ready and just having a good time so uh, uh, getting ready yeah so an awesome outfit someone you know looks lonely is it me <laughs> uh, that was really sad how do you try and cheer them up buy them something challenge them to a dance off yeah that'll cheer them up won't it give them a smile yeah you know what a smile can go a long way i'd give them a smile oh no a fly has got stuck in your room how do you get it out <laughs> throw back to my recreation of parallel world there's a fly Oh, come on. No, don't do it. Oh, come on. Ow. Oh, my God. She's sitting on the window. Go on the right side. Dancing aggressively towards it with lots of kicks. Open a window. Yeah. Open a window. You just found out a shocking secret. What do you do? Find a chair. What? Find? You just found out a shocking secret. What do you do? Find a chair in front of a brick wall and talk about how it made you feel. What, what does that mean? Am I missing something? That's not a reference to anything. Is it? No, that's just... Guys, I've just had a think. It's talking heads. They get a chair, they sit in front of a brick wall, and they talk about how they feel. It's talking heads. CBBC, you're funny. I like it. I am very good at secret keeping. Like, I still have secrets inside me from, like, friends that aren't even my friends anymore. I'm good. What? Where have you been? It looks like you're not sure if you're in YouTube or on the bench. When the quiz started, it said, are oh, you a super fan? So I expected it to be, like, about the next step. But the questions are all... I don't get it. What am I meant to say? Am I meant to say what the characters? I don't even know. Clearly, I'm not a super fan. This one is a race against the clock. Uh, I don't know what I'm doing against the clock, but we're soon going to find out. Oh, can I spot Amanda? Yeah, there. <laughs> I scored really bad. I don't know what I was looking for. Can you spot Cass? Yes, there. Woohoo! I don't want to get below five in right uh, no wait 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 wait! please oh wait i was trying to fix my screen right i'm playing again amanda yes cassie piper next one is rochelle i think no it's lola okay <laughs> nearly died there can you spot rochelle yes six seconds that was close can you spot amy oh i get it my score goes down it carries on i thought i had 12 seconds for each I have four questions left and I only have six out of ten. I might have to concentrate, sorry. No, uh... <laughs> okay, that took one second, that's fine. One second for each question. I have three questions left and three seconds left. Henry. Where's Henry? He's on... No! I have one second left. I don't know who's in. Oh, thanks, Riley. That was a good... No, I want to get ten out of ten. Okay, we're going to do it again. This is a good one. Ah! Uh, uh, I failed already. Cassie, Piper, Lola, 
Michelle. Oh, who was this? Amy! <laughs> okay, we've got seven seconds to do four more questions. That's fine. I don't remember who again. I think it was Henry. No, it's Noah. Okay. Henry? Yes. Right, we're on track. Five seconds left, two questions left. Let's see who's next. Michelle. Four seconds left, one question left. Kenzie. Ah, no, no. Oh my god, I misclicked and it, I went slightly right on summer and I panicked. One second to spare. Thank you. Next quiz. That was a good one. So we be saying that's a good one. I like that. This one is called Which Studio Head Are You? And going into this, I think I would be a Michelle. You have to select a dancer for the featured solo spot. How do you do it? See, okay, without looking at the answers, I would make everyone do the same choreo and see who does it best, but also take into account what I have seen of them beforehand and what I know they can do. So options are you know everyone's unique stripes so you choose the person you're the boss and you know what you want no arguments hold auditions it's the fairest way or you have an idea who might do well yes the last one you have an idea who might do well at the auditions yeah a new dancer has joined the troupe and has some interesting ideas what do you say nice ideas i'll take them into consideration that's what i say <laughs> yeah, yeah yeah listen to their ideas and if they help the group you consider them yeah yeah the new studio owner says you're not doing a good job Oh my god, I'd actually cry if my boss said to me that I was bad. Uh, I've only cried once at work though, so... <laughs> you point out how they're not doing their job well either, no one's perfect. Oh my god, I would love to do that sometimes. <laughs> how dare they do... do they know how hard you work? That would be me on the inside. Hear them out and if it means things you can only improve... Yeah, I, I just hear them out and see how I can improve. But inside, I'd be like, how dare they? Um, and I, I'd want to point out that they're not doing their job well. <laughs> It's competition time and your opposition looks like they might win. How do you react? You know what? We're in it to win it. We give it our best shot. That's what I'd be like. Yeah, you worked hard to be here. All you can do is try your best. A dancer comes to you with a serious problem. How do you handle it? Oh God. I just use my common sense. Obviously their well-being is at the top priority. It's not ideal. See if they can solve it on their own time. They're here to dance. No. I listen, reassure them and make sure they I handled it correctly, yeah. The group ignores your choreo and goes with their own. It turns out to be better than what you had planned. What do you do? This is reminding me of Summer and Michelle. It, okay, it would tell from a dancer point of view. So if I'd made choreo and they made their own and it turns out to be better, at first I'd be like, well, why didn't you ask me if you could do this first? Um, and I'd probably say, well, I like my choreo, so we're going to keep it, but we can use elements from what you've created. You admit it's pretty good. Allow the new choreo to go ahead, but time to bring it to you first. Let them off this time, but remind them of the consequences. Let them go with their choreo and ask them to teach you, to you. You're feeling inspired. The group wouldn't ignore your choreo, but they have a few additions, which you've already approved. So basically all options are like, we're taking the choreo. Yeah, okay. Allow the new choreo to go ahead, but ask them to bring the ideas to you first. Your studio needs a makeover. How do you make this happen? Money. <laughs> the idea popped into your head and you have to go to the cool blue design so you show how you plan to do it. Suggest a painting and pizza night. What? No. Replace the mirrors and just, yes, I do the essentials first. Yes. You're like Michelle Oh, I'm like them both. You always have the best intentions for your team despite being a little disorganized. Fairness is important and that the most unlikely people can find a friend in you. I'll have that, but I'm not disorganized in the slightest, I don't think. Like, I'm a very organized person. Next quiz. Odd one out, it's called. I don't like odd one out games. Oh, okay, this is interesting. Which dancer hasn't run a dance studio? Summer. Which dancer hasn't performed at internationals? Well, Rochelle. Yeah, Rochelle. Which dancer doesn't have a sibling who has danced at the next step? Kenzie. Which dancer hasn't been a part of a rival team? Rochelle. Which dancer hasn't been dance captain? Jacket. Which dancer has dated another next step dancer? Oh, has, or has, has. Wait, is this a, se I think this is season six, so. Henry, because Kingston hadn't dated Lily yet, yeah. Um, which dancer hasn't been in every series? Hasn't? No one's been... They've all been in every series. This is a trick question. Emily was in season four. They've all... So this is either an error on CBC's part or I'm really dumb. Season one, they were all in. No, it was just real small. No, season two, they were all in. Season three, Emily was in the beginning of season three. So she was in it. Season four, they were all 
yeah, Emily came for a little bit in that, season five. They were all, seven. Wait, but this is series six, I think, because Kingston hadn't dated another next, I'm gonna say Noah, because he's not in season seven. Oh, that was wrong, apparently. Emily? What series hasn't she been in then? Please tell me, CBBC, what series hasn't Emily been in? Which dancer hasn't had a dance-related injury? Summer. Which dancer didn't come from B Troop? J Troop. Michelle. S oh, I still scored nine out, of nine out of nine because I had a life, but yeah. Right, this one is then called Can You Make It Through Regionals? And it's set in season four. So I need to keep that in mind if there's a, like a, a tricky question. Regional starts today, but your alarm did not go off this morning. Oh my God, that is my worst fear. I hate... I, I hate being late. I'd much rather be early. No, I wouldn't pretend. I just hope she understands. What's the prize? Like, what am I trying to do? What am I trying to achieve? Can I can I make it for regionals? Okay, sure. The next step dancers are debating what style of dance to do for regionals. They've put it to a vote and it's an even split. As the last to arrive, you have the deciding vote. Okay, ballet, hip hop, or a mashup? You know, I do hip hop and I just utilize the hip hop dancers. Yeah. The ballet dancers are heartbroken and Pura were out of the studio in protest. What? Oh, that's the game. I have to make the right answer. H how do we know what the right answer is? Right, so we're going to do it again. Right. I'm going to tell Riley the truth. Uh, I'm going to say a mashup because the next step loves their contemporary hip hop mashups. Is that right? Yeah, okay. A compromise is what everyone wants. Riley is impressed with how you handle the situation. She asks you if you would like to consider choreographing the routine. How do you react? I'd say only if you're sure. Yeah, sure. The routine is yours, okay? You started to work on your routine and it's going well, but now LaTroy refuses to cooperate. LaTroy, do you do you want to be off the dance? Uh, should I send you back to your dad's farm? Is that what you want? Um, he's angry he wasn't chosen to lead the dance. What do you do? I'd apologize. No, get annoyed and tell LaTroy he needs to grow up. <laughs> Remind LaTroy that working together as a team is much more important than arguing about who leads. You know what, I would say that, except I'd say it in a really irritating way because I like doing that sometimes, especially to stroppy teenagers. I like saying like, do you know what? Like, for example, what's an example? I could say, oh, if they said, oh, I'm really bored, I'd say, do you know what? You'd be a lot less bored if you were actually doing something this whole hour. So I'd remind LaTroy that working together as a team is good. There we go. LaTroy realizes you're right and apologizes. The team is back together and ready to rehearse. You are rehearsing alone one evening in Studio A when you spot the twins from the Gemini studio filming you on their phone. What do you do? I'd confront them. Yeah, there's no time to tell Riley. I'd confront them. I can see it happening. When you confront the twins, they confess they didn't want to steal the routine at all. They actually wanted to steal you. I'd be like, I'm not an object. The twins want you to choreograph the originals routine for Team Gemini. How do you respond? Wait, am I a choreographer or a dancer? Because, like, if they're paying me good money, I might do it. I'm going to stay at the next step because, you know, I don't like Gemini. I love how that's the correct answer. Like, the, it, the next step is the correct answer. Riley is working in her office and overheard the conversation. When the twins aren't looking, she grabs the phone and deletes the recording. Your routine is safe. Riley makes a mental note to update the next step's security system. <laughs> You're on the way to regionals when all of a sudden the bus comes to a screeching halt. One of the tires is flat. The nearest mechanic is over an hour away and if the bus isn't fixed soon, you're going to miss the competition. What do you do? I can't change the tire. So work together as a team to replace the tire. Well, we'd see if anyone can replace it and obviously we'd do it if we could, but yeah, I, I guess the correct answer is work together, isn't it? The day is saved. Only now everyone's hair is a mess and you're all covered in dirt from fixing the tire. There isn't time to clean yourselves up before the performance. What do you do? Um, carry on and we, we change the theme of the dance to make it look uniform. If everyone's dirty, it looks better than if one person is dirty. So Riley is inspired by your de disheveled look and actually thinks it will suit the dance. She encourages you all to go on stage as you are. The judges are wowed by your routine and original style. The next step win regionals. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's all the quizzes I'm gonna do for today. So if you wanna go see any of those, I'll leave the link to the quizzes down below or the quiz page and you can do what you like on them. Yeah, if you'd like me to scour the, the web, uh, why can't I say that? If you'd like me to scour the web and try and find some more amateur quizzes and stuff and see what we can find, then definitely just leave a like and a comment down below telling me to do that and I'll be up for it because it's quite fun to just try and test myself. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like, comment down below, and make sure you subscribe because I try and upload every week. I'll see you soon for a new video. Bye.